Oh, so we, so we don't lose sight of this. Uh, I want to go to you, uh, Representative Norton, and I want you to update our viewers on the destination medical center, the Rochester project, maybe not to every last uh, gory detail, but uh, I do know we've had a lot of discussion on this program over the course of the last several years, and I know there have been developments recently. Maybe tell our viewers a little bit about how that project is proceeding, how important it is to Rochester, Olmstead County, and the state of Minnesota. Sure. So the legislature approved um, a couple of years ago now uh, the infrastructure funding that would match, and it's not a dollar for dollar match, but that would match uh, investment by Mayo Clinic and private investors in our community. And Mayo Clinic said, we're going to stay here. We're going to invest in billions of dollars in the community. And with that, we need help uh, to support the infrastructure that's going to be needed for this growth and development. And so the state approved uh, about $585 million combination uh, local through city and county as well as, and there's some taxation that was involved with that, as well as then the state match. And so uh, people think money has been rolling into my community, and I want to assure folks, actually no money has yet to be released. Um, part of what had to happen after this legislation was passed is the hard work of uh, developing a, a plan, defining what area was the destination medical center area, if you will, in our community. So we've been working on that. Um, they had people come out and, and have uh, some design work was done, Discovery Qu Square, Heart of the City, there's a St. Mary's Place. So there's five areas that they're going to develop up in the community. And a lot of that development will be from private investors. And um, we've had a few uh, little uh, false starts where an investor came in and, and in fact, the uh, the, eat, the the EDA, so the Economic Development Association associated with the DMC and others didn't like the project. And so there was a $65 million project that was actually turned down because it didn't fit the the, the design and the vision for our community. Well, I imagine out. Wow. But we're um, through this whole process, there are uh, boards. The city also has some uh, decision making. And we're trying to make certain that whatever we do is not only good for certainly Mayo Clinic, who kind of was the brainstorm of the idea, um, but that it's good for the people that live in my community. And, and they're nervous. They don't want this to become Disneyland downtown. They right. want it to be a, a, a not only a good place for to work, <laughs> Uh, but also a good place to live, and then a good place for visitors, of course. So there's a lot of work that's gone into it. No money has yet to be released. We're getting closer. We have to hit uh, 200 million in investments before the first 30 million in infrastructure dollars is released, and we are getting very close. I think next year we'll hit that mark, and then you'll see the development and the infrastructure dollars uh, be released, and you'll start seeing change in my community. So it's pretty exciting, but also uh, people are nervous. And no further legislative action is necessary no. in St. Paul. So. We had a few little glitches last year, but we worked those out, and now we're uh, ready to go smooth sailing, and so uh, keep a good thought for us. Good. All right, very good.